What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2Wild, checking in once again with another showcase in the building. And this is the denim that you need to buy. And that denim is Subi denim. Now, we've done some of these showcases so far. We've done Under the Gift, Diet Starts Monday. We've done a little bit of Hum and Film. And today, I present to you guys Subi Denim. Now, Subi Denim is by far one of the most expensive denim brands that I've ever purchased. But I got to say that since purchasing it, it is the best denim that I've ever bought. Levi's, Crisp, Hum and Film, Valabasis, whatever jeans out there you wear, Purple Label, Robin, I don't know what it is at the end of the day, Vizu. I fell in love with Subi Denim when shopping for this collection. The fit was perfect. It fit me perfectly. It had the right slim slash skinny, not too skinny, not too slim fit out there on the market. However, this is a very expensive denim brand out there for some of you guys. You're gonna be spending up to the $200 price point, but this denim out there at the same time will be a denim that will last you a lifetime and it will fit really good. It fits perfect in my opinion, as far as from my body type and me, and there was no tailoring or anything that needed to be said. I bought plenty of jeans out there from even minimal that makes great jeans for half the price, for a quarter of the price. There's a lot of people out there that makes it for quarters of the price, $60 jeans, $50 jeans, $70 jeans, $100 jeans. Trust me, there's other options out there, but I wanted to present to you guys today Subi Denim so that you guys can probably just check out something new and give it a chance. I actually bought a ton of G-Star as well. We'll do a G-Star video very soon. I've had, like I said, numerous other brands out there, but this one by far, I first heard about this from Bullet RC. Subi Denim, it just is like no other. So. I understand the price point is probably more higher than you usually seen or heard, or you might think I'm crazy, but in my opinion, doing this for years now, this denim is top notch. At the same time, Sample Industries, we got some denim on the way. Also, new flannel, just drop, check it out. Link down below in the description. Now, before we get into that video on that, I want to showcase another pair of jeans out here in another brand that's a little bit more cheaper, still kind of expensive to maybe some of y'all out there, but as I stated, we're gonna be doing high fashion, low fashion, middle fashion. And in my opinion, streetwear just getting more expensive. It is what it is. It just, it is getting more expensive. At the same time, you got your H&Ms, you got your Urban Outfitters, where you can get more affordable stuff. And we will start doing more affordable, like $30 t-shirts and $50 pants. I'm gonna be looking into those type of options as well in the future of these showcases. We have though Embellished. This brand has been around for almost 10 plus years now, since the beginning of me doing YouTube, copping this from Karma Loop. I would definitely say though that Embellished has definitely risen and continued to showcase great quality, you know, shirts and well, pants majority of the time. Back when I used to buy their biker pants back in like 2013, 14. But we have here the Embellished and this is the Nile denim. You know, full body, it fits really well. Nice light wash. You have the Chanel printing going on on both sides of the leg. And these are gonna be retailing at $140. Real nice. It has a little bit of stretch, but not too much to the point where I don't even know. I mean, when you have 100% cotton or denim, there's like no stretch, it's raw, you feel me? When you have like 1% of elasticity or 2%, that's where you get that stretch. But I'm not gonna lie, I wouldn't even think that there is let me just check it to make sure. All right, here we go. Let's see, 99% cotton, 1% spandex. And that's what I was gonna say. It feels even closer to like 99. 98, you can feel the stretch. It feels totally different. That spandex, you can totally feel it when it's like 2%. A 1% to 2% difference, you can literally feel it. But overall, these are really nice for the Chanel patterns and the patches that you get throughout the whole entire pants. I think in my opinion, it's definitely great and it's a good quality type of denim out there and it looks good on pretty much whatever you wanna buy. And it's 34 that I'm wearing, I'm wearing 34 on everything you see here. And the length, I don't even, I ain't gonna cap. I usually like 34, 30 or 34, 32, 34, 34 is just too long. But uh, all these jeans, they're not like drooping on me. They're pretty solid. The next up we have another from Embellish. This is called the Diego and these are going for 120. The Diego Khaki. And like I stated before, the links to everything will be down below in the description. You can use the code TONYD2WILD to get 10% off your entire order of everything you see. I'm gonna link every single one of these 
down below unless it's sold out, but I'm, I think everything should be available. We have though the khakis, real good material. It's real solid, real thick. It's not light, cheapy, nothing like that, $120. This is 98 cotton with 2% spandex, and you can definitely feel the difference in that stretch. You have these little ribbons coming out that, you know, show. You can't really even zip these up. Well, I guess you could. You could just roll them up and put them in there if you want to zip them up. But if you want to have it out there, you can. Definitely wanted to get some more khakis in there, man. I just don't have that much khaki as I used to have, but this one will add to the collection of khaki because khaki goes well with pretty much anything like it's hard to explain but I like to wear khakis when it comes to Jordan 1's Jordan 4's like my white cements and stuff like that the khaki just always seems to pop now we have here the Subi denim let's bring it to the beginning for our first piece we have the Subi Van Winkle or Van Rink is it the Van Winkle Van Winkle originate now these are going for two hundred and twenty dollars this is a size 34 now I'm gonna say this right now this is a more skinny fit and when you actually go and look at the jeans you see right here 34 fit skinny and then all the way to the other side is relaxed so this is the skinniest of the skinniest and you're definitely going to notice that in these pairs compared to all the rest this pair fit way more tight around the legs and whatnot i liked every single one of these how they fit they were all different but they just rocked out and they felt good i'm not wearing skinny skinny jeans like i used to back in the day i'm kind of going for the more slim and more relax at times i want to start switching things up not just being you know I, I, I definitely grew up in the skinny jeans era when it was really really popping and then i grew up in the baggy jeans era as well i went to you know back in middle school boy them jeans were size 38 you feel me and then as i got in as we continue to go older in high school and then even in college it got skinny it just flipped and then on here i'm checking these pants you actually have inside these are made in china you know what i'm saying there's a whole sizing the whole you know all the stuff in there 99 percent cotton one percent elasticity machine wash cold and all that so it gives you how to wash everything all on the inside here and they do have a good amount of stretch because they're skinny jeans and you gotta have some elasticity when rocking them you have the distress the little knee knockers the knee openings and that was one of the things that i really liked about it because i've bought jeans in the past my size but the knee openings you know would be past my knee they be like almost on my shins because they were 34, 34, like super long. And when you have those knee openings, it's supposed to expose the knee. So obviously they were just too long for me. And that was an issue that I've always had with a lot of jeans. Hey man, I'm 5'9", 5'8", 5'9", 5'9", on a good day, 5'8", on a regular day, 5'7", if I'm linked over, hunchback or Notre Dame, but I don't I, you know, I really do that. But yeah, you know, I deal with it. Now these are a size 36, and this is the Subi Van Winkle, and this is the Vertigo. These are going for $250, and I just realized something right now as I'm doing this video. I've already put and tried everything on. Everything fits solid in my opinion, but now I notice that I think a lot of these were size 36. They did feel loose on the waist. Maybe that's why I liked it, but I am a true 34. But these, for instance, are a skinny jean, and they didn't fit like the other skinny jeans in the actual on body. I've also heard for Subi that you might want to size up. I've heard that before. 34 is one way. Look at this one in 36. Only the strong will survive. Oh my bad, this is only the wrong survive. But as you can see, like on the actual on body, these were fitting fairly well. It, it was a little loose. It wasn't, it was, it was just a perfect fit in my opinion. Now this is like I said, a size 36. I am not a 36, I am a 34. These must just fit slightly smaller, I would say. If you want to, to look how it looks on me right now, and you wear a 34, then I suggest you go with the 36. Now go, if you saw those previous pants and you like that, fit right there then just go true to size with the size 34 like i said for me those right there they fit perfectly they weren't tight on the waist these were slightly more loose on the waist but the legs fit me how i wanted it to now was it extreme loose nah nothing crazy over time they might but i don't think they'll just drop off on my my pants just fall off nothing like that because the pants itself fit real nice and contour to the body however those do retail for 250 compared to the previous which was a 220 but on that, let me show you real quick. There is printing going on throughout the whole entire pants. And my bad, I didn't even like really go into that. But you got printing here on the back right there, the Subi, and on this leg as well. And it says royalty, heroism, and the city. Roy's the street. It is what it is. I like the only wrong survival the leg. This is all print though. 250. And then of course the dollar sign is stitched on the back right there in the pocket with the X and royalty, heroism, and the streets. These are definitely probably one of my favorite out of everything. 
but it only gets better. Next, we have the Subi Chich Camo, and this is retailing for $200. As I stated before, you can use the code Tony D2Y, get 10% off on everything you see here. Now, I like these a lot. I ain't gonna cap though. The white threading kind of threw me off a little bit. It just kind of gives me true religion vibes a little bit, old school true religion vibes. And you know, I'm not a big fan of true religion. I was back in the day. This is a size 36, and as you can see, on there it's the next one up so this is our first time going up a notch from skinny to i guess more relaxed but still skinny skinny with a light relaxation going on and as you can see in these these fit just like that they have a little bit more room this is a size 36 once again i'm a 34 if you like how it looks i would recommend going up a size if you like it it'll be a little bit even more tighter then go with your true size it's really hard to even tell the difference between i felt the difference slightly because those were really skinny and these are light, slightly more. It just wasn't a big enough jump. I felt it, but the 36 just feels, just felt good on me. I, I, it is what it is. But I like the camo effect. It's a brown camo. You got brown, almost like an olive. It's almost like a grayish brown. So it's not your typical camo. It's like slightly, it's altered and different in its approach. It's not that typical army camo that we're used to. The white threadings is cool. It makes it pop, but at the same time, like I stated, it did give me, you know, true religion vibes. Back in the day, true religions, they used to have, though, the yellow. You know, they used to always have, like, that different type of uh, threading, which was, like, white or yellow that would pop out, and there's just no bell bottom, so it is what it is on that part. And I would say one thing I loved about all these pants so far is the leg opening. They sat perfectly. Some sat perfectly on the shoe behind the tongue, but some also it was big enough to put over the tongue so you can kind of go whichever way you want to go with as how you like your shoes to sit on the shoe. That's very important to me. Now, these are my favorite. This is the Subi Chich Ether Trash. That's what they're calling these. And these were retailing for 240 and this is a size 36. And I would highly recommend if you're a 34 to get this size. This is once again, very similar in the sizing as of that camo and like i said in my opinion these are my favorite out of the whole entire batch i love the distressing i like the backing that it has and check it out you can see the backing though right the backing is covered so you're not going to have any knees showing but it will still give you the distressing effect and i kind of like that more in my opinion than just having the knees showing i don't care about my knees showing or whatnot but it's more so when it's like this and there's knees showing over time, this will just continue to get bigger and bigger. You know how many times you have the distressed pants and you put your foot in it and your foot gets caught here and it rips the pants more? I just feel like that being able to happen is a problem waiting to happen, especially for some jeans that are gonna cost you $200. That stitch around and it being enclosed, it just reinforces the pants that never had that issue. I love the color, slightly faded, slightly faded going on, slightly distressed as you can see on the knees and whatnot, and then on the back, it's a nice, thick, heavy feel to it. It's not like loose and it, it feels this, it feels good in material. 99 cotton, 1% elasticity, once again. And it's a real solid, thick feeling overall. And this is my favorite out of the bunch. 240, it's up there, costs more than a pair of Jordans. But one thing about pants, like I said before, and even over shoes, I think in my opinion, a pair of pants will last you longer than a pair of shoes. That's facts. That just depends on how you do it. If you, unless, unless you get, get, get gain weight or something, you feel me? But pairs of pants, you can wash them, wash them, wash them, wash them, wash them, and they can get dirty you can, unless you're getting grass stains, you have no business doing that. But pants, I got some pants now that I've had since damn high school, and I, I don't wear them, but they're still there. You know what I'm saying? Like pants, they're really good quality, they'll last you a long lifetime. And I think that's what we're investing in here when we spend that amount of money. I'm cool with spending 240 on a pair of pants that's gonna last me 10, 15 years compared to spending 240 on a pair of shoes that's gonna only last me five years if I'm wearing them. Now, there are shoes I got dead stock, I don't get me wrong. But you, you get my point, even then you let them sit too long, they crumble. Pants on the other hand, they don't die like that. So teach your own. At the same time, pants do go out of trend. That's something to think about. Pants do go out of fashion. But at the end of the day, I'm my own fashion person. Some people say, man, you still rocking this? You still rocking that? I rock what I like. I don't rock what people tell me to like. I rock what I think is cool. So if I lose out on fashion trends and motherfuckers want to wear Teletubby uh, pants or some shit, I'm not doing that. I'm not wearing Teletubby pants. It is what it is. If that ever happens, I'm not rocking with it. Y'all can call me an old man. Call me what you want. I'm straight on that. Next up, we have the Subi Chich. This is called the Subi Chich Overdye in Khaki. And these are going for 220 now. This doesn't look like khaki. Now I gotta, I gotta honestly ask Soul Play. Did they get the name wrong, or maybe it is? I don't know. No, it says it on here from Subi. Chitch Overdye Khaki. This is a size 36 once again, and it's the same on that meter. 36. 
I like these a lot. These are probably like number three. Very similar to the black ones. Once again, very similar. You can see the little belt hoop. I think the black pair features the same thing, but these are more so just very standard, you know? But this is not a khaki to me. It's like a, it's almost like a super washed black, or I would even say a gray. It's not a khaki. When I'm thinking khaki, you know, we just pulled out a khaki earlier and this looks nothing like it. It's almost like a, it's like a gray, a very washed black, or it's even like a little bit of a grayish green. And what I mean by that, let me see if I can show you. Nah, it's not even that. Grayish green. Um, I don't even know if this is gonna work, but I'm just trying to, sh yeah, it does work a little bit. I'm just trying to show you like what I'm talking about. You could rock this in my opinion. I would rock this. You can see, I'm just trying to give you guys a good like color assessment. You feel me? Cause I don't want y'all to like be confused. It's not khaki. And these are, like I said, one of my favorites. So I want to make sure you guys can see it as best as possible. Fits good though. Everything feels good about these 36 as stated and pretty sure it's 99.1%. 98, 2%. So these have slightly more stretch to it. They're solid though. Super, super solid. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below. Check out the links down below in the description. And let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions on everything. Let me know what else you like to see. You know, this is some different denim. I would like to do an affordable denim very soon too, because I know you guys have been asking about that. So stay tuned. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one, man. I'm out. Peace.